The Nintendo 64 that I picked up a few days ago, when you connect it to the TV, it it's really bright. The the whites are very very bright. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to open up the the video lead, and I'm going to solder in a 75 ohm resistor onto the video to the ground, and try and bring that brightness down. This is the end of the the video lead. What I've done, I've used a craft knife and I've scored along the the joining line. You can carefully prise that open. I've already had this open, so it's come open a bit easier. Now the video is yellow and it looks like the grounds are black. But I can test that. I'd like to test that with my multimeter in continuity mode. The black should go to the outside. Yeah, and the, the video, which is this one, yellow, should be this one. That's correct. So I get no continuity on the audio. The yellow goes to yellow. I just wanted to double check that because some colours are different or appear to be different in, in, other, in other videos. So I need a little resistor, 75 ohms. And I will pop my soldering iron on. So I want to go from there down to that black one. I'm just going to tin these. Should be the yellow one. I'm going to focus, yeah. I'll bend this round. There we go. Let's put that back together and we'll give it a test. Perfect. Let's try that. There's the TV. Already it's looking a little bit easier to read this writing. We'll just wait for the title screen. That's much better. You might not be able to tell through the video, but all of the snow, there was no detail in any of this snow previously. And I can't remember seeing the the shadows up at the top here as well. So that's worked out great. So that's a 75 ohm resistor on the video to ground, and that's for using it on PAL TVs. I'm really happy with that. So if that helps you out, uh, I'll appreciate a, a like. Give us a like. Um, and like and subscribe if, you, if you're enjoying the videos. And I'll see you in the next one.